M0FXB, welcome to my channel. We have RT systems here for the FTM500, which I haven't got yet, but we can still play around. So we we fired it up, blank sheet here. We'll go file at the top here, file. Now you can use an SD card or you can use your SCU cable or the provided repeater, sorry, RT systems cable. So we'll go file, external data, and we're gonna go repeater book search. So this is about just adding a load of repeaters. Now I've put in my location, Bristol, UK. I've selected two meter and 70, 30 mile radius and it's miles. And we'll go okay and it will just very quickly populate all the repeaters. Then look, if we want, we can change, it says a repeater, notes, call sign, city, state, but we can also select bands. Uh, look, so if we, we don't want D star, we don't want DMR. Two meter and 70, we want that, so we'll leave that. So there's a nice selection there of repeaters and we can click create file for FTM 500 and it straight away adds something that we can use here. We can even copy and paste if we just select the top one. It's been a while since I've done this. Like so put our finger on control and scroll down. Then we can copy, I think you can do V as well. Copy, it says it here, file. Where is it, I saw it, there it is there. Control C for copy, Control V for paste. So if we went to the original one, let's try it. Hit the top, Control V. Oh, there you are, let's put it in there. So that's good. And now let's try copy. So we'll go do all that. Oh, it's only done that bit anyway, but we'll go Control C, put it here. We're not saving this file, we're just practicing paste. Oh, it's not allowing me because not enough area there. But anyway, you got the idea for that. And the other one I'm going to play with eventually is the R Finder web search because that actually creates the whole map for you and you can drive around and it has all the repeaters and puts the, repeat, the repeaters in order of your journey. I think that's excellent. But I'll try that another time. You can, as I just said, you can use an SD card. There's your COM port settings, uh, radio menu settings for the FTM 500. So common one, dual watch, band skip, VHF, UHF, auto power off, beep, GPS. Yeah, I'm gonna enjoy using this, especially for APRS. Common two, band A, band C, sorry, B. Squelch, DTMF, because you've got two options, you can just Key the mic and type it, or you can put it into memories. APRS. This seems very similar to what I would normally do. You know, I'm a call sign. M0FXB. Choose the letter. I think quite common it's going to be 9. Turn on the modem here, look. Be different thing, car. I mean, RT says they done a great job with this, haven't they? Your location. I bet you can add that using your GPS, of course you can. Call sign, message, reply, board rates there. Beaconing, APS beacon thing I've never ever done. Someone explain to me why what the whole beaconing thing is. All these tabs, that's your tabs, help there. Group mode settings. External file settings, tabs, you can, export files, import files, put no there for now, so file, import, export, send files to tech support, and the tech support at RT Systems is just amazing, they, you know, it's run by the owner, so when it's that situation, it's always good. Preferences, what's that? Grid display, okay. That's interesting. Could you remember someone said that you can make the grid come back? Operating mode, AMS, name. So that's something I'll have to definitely play with, see what that's all about. Memory defaults, font, you can change your fonts, other. Now you can bet that Karen is going to do a video on this anyway. And as you can see, I'm learning, but you know, thanks for watching my channel. When I've got the, I'm going to practice more with this later. You've got limit memories here, home A, home B, VFO. 
You really get your money's worth when you pay for this software. And I don't think you need a cable because most of us have got an SCU cable because and you've also got an SD card, but you know, it's all on your budget. Uh, so we're looking forward to playing with this a lot more. Repeat a book. We'll do another quick search. File. External data. The frequency list. Let's try this. I know that GMRS is popular uh, in the USA. So let's go apply. Uh, okay, and what am I doing wrong? Frequency, start, channel. Do I have to put something there? No. So someone tell me what am I doing wrong? UHF, Marine. I'm obviously doing something wrong, aren't I? So frequency list. I've done it before where you can import all the lists. Maybe I'm on the wrong tab. Let's go here. File, external data, frequency list. Apply, apply. Ah, there you go. I was on the wrong tab. <laughs> so that's, and every time you do anything, it opens a new tab which you can copy, paste, delete. So there you are. We've now got all our uh, GMRS. And we can, if we want, send that to the radio. Send it to an SD card. Put it in the radio and the SD card's on the left. The FTM 500, VHF, UHF, C4FM, Bluetooth, GPS, APRS, all included. Yeah, that's what, you know, it's, it's, it, and the screen is to die for on it. It's, it's smaller than the FTM 400, yes. But um, it's still, it's, you know, it's still crystal clear and it's just all the buttons are there in front of you. Lots of buttons to press. We like that. So what else can we bring in while we're at external data, frequency list? Let's do marine and weather channels. Apply. And you can put these into, do they do groups? I know there's a lot of complaints about grouping. So look, there's all your weather. So we've got weather, we've got our repeaters in there, we've got GMRS in there, and we can send it to the radio. I haven't checked to see what the specs are with the radio, whether you can even use it for GMRS. So don't take my word for it. Comport, of course, select the correct comport when your device is plugged in. And the RT system software can actually be used on Mac. You do pay an extra $15. I do have a Mac here. I'm gonna, I am gonna get the extra for the Mac and then I'm gonna learn how to do that. Um, and including the, any problems you might have with the cables, SCU cables. But the RT systems cable apparently will just work out of the box on a Mac. So thanks for watching my channel. Catch you on air 7-3. All the best.